As a serious physicist in the modern physics community, you know, we review each other's work. And like Max Planck and Albert Einstein, you know, we work together and it's called peer review. It's a certain process. And right now I wanted to sort of involve the world because this, this, um, this discovery this this comment kind of uh, it it involves the nature of reality, and so while I was watching Brian Greene's documentary about Einstein's introduction to B time, I think the where he explained space time and the repercussions of e equals m c squared, and well, he he started talking about time slices where no, knowing that every observer experiences space-time in a different way he said that it's like taking a slice of bread and slicing it that's their perception of space-time is in a slice and depending on their speed because of the what happens with eagles of squared because uh, light, light has to stay constant and space-time bends because of it and all that um, it's like it's like taking a knife at a different angle through the slice of bread and he calls it a time slice and my question for Brian Green is uh, why are you taking a time slice to begin with and um, that doesn't make sense what you're doing to begin with taking a time slice you assume that that makes sense it doesn't and what about if you're talking about an alien, alien uh, far away from earth and how a faraway time slice will put him in the perception of hundreds of years ago or more based on his velocity versus the person on Earth's velocity, then, well, why were you taking the time slice to begin with? That's what I'm wondering here. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, that made no sense. And the other thing was the speed of light from the Earth, and obviously it's going to take forever to get to some thousand light, light year away, only it'll be about a thousand years till. So you're going to have to add or subtract a thousand years to your time slice equation. What's going on? Um, help me out here. Um, did I just disprove Brian Green? <laughs> 